Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is gonna be about this pixie cut. So first of all, you have to get your hair. You can use any human hair that you like, or you can choose to get this or the 28 pieces hair from your local beauty store. And this is how the hair looks like. It mostly comes with a shower cup and a wig cup. You can choose to put your hair in, you can braid your hair, I can choose to put it in a ponytail. I put mine in a ponytail because I'll wear this hair for just a week. So now we're going to put on our shower cap so that glue does not get onto our hair. Then you put on your wig cap. You can put on two wig caps or one, depending on what you want. I chose to put on two because I don't want glue on my hair. So the net, after this, you just have to measure the back of your head. You cut the length of the hair according to the back of your head. You put glue on it, then you put it on the wig cap. So this is basically what this quick weave is about. You measure, you cut, you put glue, then you put, on the, you put it on your wig cap. And make sure the length of the last one is shorter than the next one. We don't want to see any of the, um, the wefts in sight. Try and conceal all of them. So basically this is what this style is about. You measure, you cut, you glue, then you paste. Just like what I'm doing in the video. So you move from the back of your head all the way to the middle of your head. Just the same steps. Cut and paste, cut and paste. And make sure you can use a blow dryer to dry it. Make sure you, um, your hand, your fingers are on it to make sure that it's really sticking. Okay, so now this is how it's going to be looking like. So you just continue with the steps. You continue with your cutting and your pasting. Don't worry about the glue, it always comes off. See what I'm talking about? Make sure the length of the next one is longer than the, the, um, the last one. So that to cover everything, we don't have to see that there are parts of the wig showing. So I did this offline, but then you just have to go around your head to get um, the front of, of how your wig is going to look like. This is the closure. It normally comes with the hair. You just cut off the excess lace out of it. You put glue on it. Then you put it on at where you want your closure to be. I want mine on top of my head. So I'll put it on top of my head. But then wherever you want your closure to be, that is where you put it. You put some glue on it. Then you put it where you want your closure to be. As you can see, the wefts, they go around my head. That is how you just cut the hair and just go around your head, your head just like that. So now you're going to go, you're going to cut more, go around your head until you get to the closure. Make sure there are no spaces in your hair. So you continue cutting and putting glue on it and just put it around your head. This towel is very easy, that's why it's got a quick weave. You can use about 30 minutes to finish. You have yourself a pizza cut, and there you are. So afterwards, this is how it's gonna look like. Make sure there are no spaces. You just go round your head, round your head to get to the closure itself. Make sure all the hair are really glued onto your wig cap. You don't want hair falling off when you're walking around. <laughs> okay, so now there are no spaces. 
make sure there are no spaces in between your hair. And like I said, the glue, they always come off. Okay, so now you just comb through to get rid of the excess glue that may have stuck onto the hair. Okay, so our next step is that we're just going to take the hair off from our head, take off the wig cap, um, the shower cap, put the hair back on, then we do the cutting. Okay, so we've taken the shower cap off now. This is how the hair looks like. We put it back on. I don't want it to be a little tight because of the glue, but that is good because it makes it, it, this makes your hair um, the hair very tight on your head, so it doesn't just come off. So now this, you have to be very careful when you're cutting your hair because if you cut too much, you know you've damaged the hair. So you cut it according to how you want it. I want mine to be flat at the back. So you ship it how you want it. And that's it. This is how it's supposed to look like afterwards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.